my channel. So actually, welcome or welcome back if you were here before. Um, happy holidays. Today is the 25th, so Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy holidays if you don't. Uh, happy 25th of Jul uh, <laughs> July. Happy 25th of December to all of us who don't. Well, us. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, kind of a Grinch. Myself, I was raised in a family that celebrates Christmas, but I don't for many reasons. I'm kind of a party pooper from Thanksgiving to Christmas, New Year's Eve-ish. I just don't vibe with that season at all. So I thought what would be fun is if I could share some movies that vibe with the Christmas winter season for me personally that maybe would work better for you. These are not, these are like winter or Christmas adjacent movies that are not those like super happy holiday movies where you're like, oh my god, I love you, blah, 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 whatever, you know, those kinds of movies that quite frankly, I can't stand. So the first one I want to recommend is actually a horror movie. It's called Bra uh, what? <laughs> it's called Black Christmas. Now, I was recommended this movie. I like asked a friend, I was like, what's your favorite Christmas horror movie? And she was like, Black Christmas. And so I just watched it, right? When I was looking up um, the movie covers so I could film this video and insert them in, right? I was like, Oh, there are several different version like adaptations, and now I can't. I have no idea which year I saw. So I saw a version of Black Christmas. I can't remember which one. And oh well, Bl Black Christmas is a fun movie. I'm gonna try to watch all versions now that I know. Okay, so <laughs> the second one I want to recommend is Cool Runnings. Now this one, my goodness, I saw when I was, I think I was still in the hospital. I was, I think I was still in rehab. Um, if you don't know, I like did a year in rehab when I was a kid for, um, after my surgery. That's a whole different story. Um, but anyway, I saw that one when I was a kid. So um, I think I watched it again as a like older teenager, young adult, and I still really, really liked it. But this one kind of vibes with me because it feels like a it feels like a cozy movie to me, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like chill, like it's fun. Oh, by the way, so <laughs> let's go way back. Black Christmas is about a fraternity that decides to murder everyone. Cool Runnings about is, uh, Cool Runnings is about the Jamaican bobsled team that are going into the Olympics. And it's a very fun movie. Black Christmas is a horror, like I said. Um, the next one I want to recommend, oh, Oh, it's not Christmas at all. <laughs> I was going to say Hubie Halloween because for some reason I'm like, that was Christmas, right? No. Um, as you can see, my brain stopped functioning at Halloween and it will start functioning in January. Um, no, that is a Halloween movie. It was kind of good. It was like one of those really dumb Adam Sandler movies. I'm still going to recommend it though because I would totally watch it during the holidays. Hubie Halloween, I think it was on Netflix. Yeah, it was on Netflix. I don't know when it came out, probably like 2019, maybe early 2020, something like that. Anyway, the next movie I want to recommend, this one is in French. It, well, it is originally a French movie and it's called uh, Les Bronzés Fonds du Ski or the, I can't, oh, I'll throw up the name in English if I, if, when I find it. I think it's like, it tr literally translated means the, the tanned people go ski. <laughs> which um, Les Bronzés refers to, or the tan like refers to Southerners where people are tan because it's warmer, going to ski. That's the plot of the thing. It's like, I think it was like, a, takes place in like the 70s or 80s or something like that. And it's basically this group of friends from the South that go skiing and it's very, very stupid. <laughs> and then it, it's in one of those like, the reason I say 70s or 80s is because it's one of those like cliche, um, skiing lodge, like, 
I don't, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. If you're French, you know, but it's like very cliche, very like stupid. It's a total comedy. It's a total comedy. It's very funny. Totally recommend. Um, and it reminds me memories of when we used to go skiing. <laughs> I haven't been skiing in so long. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, the next movie I want to recommend, um, is very, it's like a classic French movie. It's called uh, Le Père Noël est une ordure, or in English, it's called Santa Claus, no, Santa is a stinker. That's what it's called. Santa is a stinker. It's, I can't even explain the plot right now. It's, this guy and his wife who volunteer at a suicide hotline center and they get stuck on Halloween or not Halloween. See? There I go. They get stuck on Christmas Eve on the, you know, doing the hotline thing. And so they're like getting really random calls. And simultaneously, there's like in this building, this elevator shaft isn't working so every like all the neighbors are kind of bugging each other and getting weird visits and it's like I can't even explain the plot dude it's so funny but it's like so random but it's really fucking hilarious like for real seriously like it, I totally watched that one tonight Except that I say I'm saving the best one for last. Actually, there's a little bonus one at the end, but I'm saving this one for last because this one that I'm about to tell you is like not even joking. One of, if not the funniest movie I've ever seen in my life, for real. It, it's called. It's a French movie, and it's called Un Dîner de Con. In English, it's um, a fool. No, dinner for dinner of fools. That's what it's called, dinner of fools. So the concept of the movie is basically these businessmen um, have this like you know dinner party, and every businessman has to bring an idiot with them. I like I'm sure you've heard the concept before, and they basically mock them at the party, blah blah blah. So in this movie, this guy. Um, invites one of his colleagues, who's a total moron, <laughs> for dinner. And so he's like, okay, meet me at my place later and we'll go to dinner, whatever. Okay, so the guy goes to his place and then a lot of stuff happens. It's very stupid. It's 100% incredibly hilarious. Now, I do want to throw up a little disclaimer. This is a French movie, which means that the jokes are play on words from the French language. I haven't watched it in English yet, so I don't know if the translations work as well. I am going to watch it for sure in English, and I will probably let you know in a later video. <laughs> Stay tuned, I'll let you know in a later video if it's as good in English as it is in French. So those are my recommendations. I did want to throw in one last one. Um, because this is not a movie, this is a TV series that I used to watch as a kid all, well not all the time, but a lot. Um, gosh. And I actually had the comic books for it. Which way does this go? Oh my goodness. I'm like trying to... <laughs> okay, here we go. So, let me know. I got this t-shirt for Christmas. Let me know if you recognize... Okay, I'm going to show you the t-shirt, pause the video, write down below if you recognize who it is. Don't cheat. I'll let, uh, don't cheat. Don't be a party pooper. I'm the party pooper. Don't be the party pooper. Okay? Do you know who it is? Don't. Okay. I don't know. I always get it wrong from where the camera is supposed to be pointing, so let's do all three angles here. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? Okay. So this is from the comic book Tintin. Um, Les Aventures de Tintin, or Tintin's Adventures, I'm sure you know. So the, Tintin is a detective, and basically he, in each comic book he goes to solve a mystery, and he has his sidekick, um, Professor Haddock, who is... No, Capitaine Haddock, who is Captain Haddock, a boat captain, and Dupont et Dupont, two other detectives. Yeah, that's right. 
So, <laughs> and it's very, like, it's, it's fun and fresh, but it's still a mystery type thing. Um, I watch the cartoons a lot, so I know there's a cartoon. I don't know if they made a movie out of it. I'm sure they did. But, um, yeah. <laughs> totally recommend this one as well. So, I hope you like my recommendations. This is for Christmas party poopers like me and maybe you. I hope you enjoy these. Let me know down below if you've watched any of them or if you plan on watching any of them. Um, and I'm curious to see if you knew what this one was. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Turn on the notifications. Follow me on Goodreads, Letterboxd, and Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye!